What's up guys, JDog here from Seacoast. Today we're going to be learning how to upload our single player world from Java onto a Java server. A few things that we're going to need for this. First thing is going to be a server and second is going to be FileZilla. If you don't know what FileZilla is, it's a way to manage your server files. You download it for free from this site here, which will have a link in the description and that will allow you to move files from your PC over to your server or back to your PC. And of course, if you haven't got yourself a server, head on over to seacoast.co where you can grab yourself a small, medium, large server or a custom server to suit your needs. So first things first and this will differ a little bit for what server type you're using I'm going to be using a paper type server this is because they're much more optimized for Java especially Java servers which hold multiple players however this will work the same way with craft bucket vanilla you just need to find where these exact files are they'll be in a similar place so before we download the single player world let's just go ahead and stop our server so it's ready next up we're going to log into our minecraft using the launcher and just making sure that we're using the same version as our server just a quick disclaimer if you are using a world that's prior to 1.18 if you do move it to 1.18 or 1.19 you can't move it back again because of the world generation so just be aware of that so i'm just going to go ahead i'm going to create a new world and for the purpose of this video we now also have ourselves a house that we can move over and check that has come over to the other world now i'm just going to save and exit now what we need to do is actually get the world files download them and make sure that we have them ready so for that let's just go to our single player you're going to click on the world that you want to move over and we're going to go to edit from edit you're going to go to open world folder now this is everything that we are going to need to move this world over to your server so what we're going to do is we're just going to highlight it we're going to copy it and what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a folder just so it's easy to access from filezilla so for my desktop i've made a folder called world double click on that i'm going to paste over the files and it's going to paste over all of the world files that we need to upload onto our server and then your folder is going to look a little something like this now that we have that it's time to move it onto our server and this is where we're going to be logging into filezilla now, if you're not sure how to connect your server to FileZilla, go to your FTP file access to get your server information for it. Put in your host there, your username, your multicraft password there, and your port, and then click Quick Connect, Quick Connect to that server. Now on the left hand side you're going to find all the files on your PC as you can see here I'm on the desktop so this is how you can find the folders from the desktop I can double click on worlds and it's got all of the world folders right there for my single player world on Java. On the right hand side uh, we have the paper server jar so this is might look slightly different if it's craft bucket if it's spigot or if it's vanilla. If it does look different look for either a folder called worlds or a folder containing these right here this is going to be your world folders. So to get to that I just double clicked on worlds and you can see that they almost match what we have right here now what we're going to do is we're going to find the exact folders that we have over here on the left we're going to highlight them so that's going to be the data the data packs entity player data poi region level data and level data old these are going to be the imperative ones that you need to move over to actually move over the world so what we're going to do is we're going to drag and drop all of them over to this side over here of course it's going to ask us whether we want to overwrite because they're called the same folder names and we're going to have overwrite as the action i'm going to come down and click on apply to current queue only this will then overwrite all the older folders with the new ones from our world this is different to some other methods of changing the world name we've just simply replaced the old world files with the new world files all transfers are done so we can close down filezilla and we can now start up the world using this method we don't need to change the world name or anything like that to match the file name we can simply start it up and it will start up the same world just with a different data now whilst that's going on let's just uh, launch up our minecraft make sure that we can log in make sure our little house is there so let's head over to multiplayer let's find the server refresh there there we go it's open let's go to join the server and we should now spawn in on the world spawn near our house and there we go perfectly moved over within about five minutes so thanks for watching guys, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll catch you on the next video. Bye bye!